I'm Libby Ward. I'm the writer and producer of The Audition. I'm Mark Kirkland, the director of The Audition. And I also made a presentation here at the festival about the history of the hand crank movie camera and how cinematographers worked in Hollywood in the early days. All right, well, let's start with our first question. So tell me what was the spark of inspiration that started this whole project? Well, my co-story writer, Mike Hardy, came to me maybe two years ago and just had this seed of an idea, which was basically, what if someone who was famous for being in a cat food commercial held up a group of casting agents at gunpoint? And I said, that sounds interesting. How do we justify that, make it into a whole story, arrange it? And so I got to work writing it. And then I brought on Mark uh, when the script was all finished. Yeah, I didn't concede the idea. I, I viewed it as a, uh, I was inspired by the idea, though. Uh, when I read it and I shared it with my wife, uh, Letty, who I produced with, and we liked it. And uh, I, I do enjoy Libby's whimsical humor. And uh, it, I, I enjoyed it. And I, I enjoyed the, uh, the, the life of the people in the story. So. I've had a similar fantasy, yeah. so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, okay, second question. At what point during the shoot or development or whatever did you find your biggest challenge? Well, I think as a producer it's always a challenge because you're always hurting cats. Uh, <laughs> not related to the cat in our actual story, but that's just the way producing goes. And I think once we started production and we did a tight four-day shoot for seven locations, and that went very well, but after that in post-production is always a challenge for me because you have so many very talented people that are not working in the same room unless you have a, a huge budget and you can get them all to come work for you in the same room. But in our case, our budget was small, and so it was sort of tracking down everybody in their own steps in their own processes mm. to make sure that we got things done on time and kept moving it along through post-production. And, and for me, uh, I, I was brought on late into this production. She had the casting and done, and she had her crew. I didn't know a soul besides <laughs> Libby. So I really stepped in. I went to a table read. And we have a fabulous cast. They were Second City. They all knew Libby through working at Second City in Hollywood. And, um, you know, so that was my challenge. But And also working with Luke, our wonderful uh, DP. I'd never worked with him before. He's, he'd seen a previous film I had done, and he liked it. said, I want to work with that director. So that that was good. It was uh, I brought in a wonderful deep, uh, lighting person, too. He's so modest, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. So modest, Mr. Emmy Award. Thank you. Well, <laughs> that's another thing is I I have had a long career directing animation, so I've done I have directed a couple of my own shorts, but uh, so here I am in the live action world. That in itself About is, is a challenge, and I enjoy it. I love it. So Very the nice. challenge turned out to be a, yeah, it was a challenge, but it it really went really well, and everyone worked so well. I want to work with them again. Good. Good. Given the film and the type of film it is, what is it that you want people to take away from this experience? Because it is an experience. Yes. Well, I feel like it's it's a silver lining film, and one of the messages that I that I think and hope comes across is that the situation that you're in or that you want to be in, maybe the situation you want to be in so badly that you're going to pull a gun on the people in the room, might not be the perfect situation for you, but the perfect situation for you is out there, so don't give up on it. You just sort of need to find your place in the world. That's a good message. Um, I never really thought about the message too much. I was thinking about how many people do we all work who have a touch of this, and uh, check yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's there a good one, too. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, so what do you guys got going on for the future? Any projects, anything you're thinking about making? Yeah, well, I'm writing a bunch of animation right now, including for Warner Brothers Animation Be Cool Scooby-Doo, which I'm very excited about. It's a, like it's a legacy, and Mark actually was an original layout artist at Scooby-Doo at Hanna-Barbera. Oh, yeah. One or two years older than me. <laughs> 
and and uh, Mark, of course, is directing more live action. So together, we're working on developing a feature film because we had such a great time on this one. So very nice. So it'll be a historical fiction, and hopefully, it won't take too long. But we're we're starting, and we'll see how fast we can ramp up momentum. I'm working on two documentaries: one close to finish, and one's a longer one. So we hope to uh, visit you next year with another film. And, hey, your uh, films are always yeah. welcome. Thank you. Uh, I continue to work in the animation world, and, uh, you know, I, I've been doing this for a long time, but I'm still a student, too, so I'm still taking classes and drawing. And Isn't he you know, awesome? <laughs> that's the so joy. Modest. That's the <laughs> joy Such a genius of doing so this. No, no, that, that's the joy of, of always wanting to do something new and learn. So we'll keep on creating, yeah. and uh, that, that's, that's our goal. Keep oh, whatever it is, I'm excited about it. About it. And uh, yes, Mark is certainly modest and wonderful, absolutely wonderful to work with. But I'd also like to shout out to our entire team. If there is if there's one thing I will toot my own horn about, it is that I put together a team of really talented and professional, but also very caring people. And so I felt as many challenges and things that always pop up on any movie production, that everybody had everybody's back every step of the way. So I'm especially proud of my excellent team. Beautiful. Very good, very good. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. It has been an honor, and hopefully see you guys thank next you. year. Yeah, thanks for running a cool film festival. We yeah. try. <laughs>